Hello and welcome to another episode of Some Gear No Idea. So today, um, I decided that I was going to listen to some ham radio, uh, amateur radio. And I decided then, well, you know what, I'll, I'll, I've been into the uh, digital modes, so FT8. Uh, you'll have to Google it. And I thought, well, I'll go on, I'll give it, give it a bit of a transmit. But when I did, the, the fan kicked in on the power supply and it sounded absolutely horrendous. So uh, I, I took a, uh, a clip with my mobile phone, so I'll splice that in and play it for you now. And as you can hear, uh, the, the fan sounds absolutely terrible. So I decided to whip the lid off and, and let's have a look at, at what it takes to replace the, the fan. So, the power supply is by Mydel, M-Y-D-E-L, and it's an MP304 Mark II, and it's a, a power supply. So, um, just looking at, at things, obviously um, I've had it off for, for a while to try and dissipate any any power be careful with what you're doing don't start touching things uh, especially sticking screwdrivers in things um, you know just be be really careful so I have got uh, if I can find it little pencil uh, so this is the the fan in question uh, and it looks like it's held in by uh, some screws so unfortunately it's that close to the transformer that I can't sort of get in to, to spin it and just see if anything's clogged I can't see any wires in there that's uh, let's turn it on its side oh, there you go it's bloody heavy oh in fact actually um, I can come from this side Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's freely spinning. There's no wires, um, but it feels unbalanced. Yeah, there's there's a, a quite a lot of movement in there. Probably more than what there should be, but I don't know. So, I think the fans toast. I can't see any detail on the fan see what it is now i have got um and i'll just move this out of the way a second now i have got this fan um which is what i tend to use to pull fumes out of when i'm soldering um that seems quite quiet but i just don't think it's the right size so i, I might be able to get like two screws in but slightly bigger than that so I'm not actually sure what size this is to be honest um, and I don't think I have any other fans so what I'm going to do is figure out the best way of taking this out and it probably means that maybe I'll have to undo some screws. Undo four screws perhaps. And see if all of this module will come out free and then undo the fans. So I'll uh, I'll jump straight into a time lapse uh, and get that to uh, get that done.
Okay, so what I've done is I've took that other fan uh, apart. Now obviously I can't swap the uh, fan part because it's too small, so um, uh, I don't think you get enough airflow because I think I'm, I'm, you know, that's why they needs to be close to this outer cowling. Um, so, but what I did do was take off an extra rubber O-ring and uh, the clip that goes in the back. There was a, a silver piece which wasn't on this. I don't know what it does. Uh, I don't know if it's. Well, I don't know what it does. Or maybe it's just a dust cover. I don't know. But I've put that on anyway. Um, just to see what will happen. I mean, if it's still uh, incredibly noisy, then you know I'll look to I'll look to fan. I did get my um, ruler out just to see what size this is. So nine. Uh, I don't know how you measure these things, to be honest. Sixty millimeters, isn't it? Sixty millimeter fan. Assuming it's square. What am I talking about? I'm reading it upside down, that's why, idiot. Ninety millimeter fan. So I think it's a 90 millimeter fan. So uh, this one is 80 mil. So what I will do is um, at some point I'll look for a 90 millimeter fan, see whether I can just replace the whole thing, and I'll uh, I'll buy a couple um, and upgrade the one that I use to usually get rid of um, fumes. Uh, Right, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put this together. Unfortunately, it's struggling to see. I don't have a lot of room um, where I film, which makes putting things like this together and filming a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so you'll have to forgive me, but all I'm doing is just screwing this, screwing this back together now. Like I said, I've, I've no idea whether it's going to work, but it's all about. It's all about trial and error, isn't it? You know. I can put it together, test it. And then say if it's still really noisy, I'll uh I'll, I'll price the fan up anyway. I can't see them being that big. I mean a PC fan is usually 120 millimeters, I think. Well, in fact, you probably get them in all kinds of um, all kinds of sizes for radiators and and whatnot. Just uh, tweak these up to make sure they're tight. So, what, filming under here is a bit of a nightmare. Maybe what I should do is look to start to look to move where I film to give myself a bit more room. Usually, though, the little bits that I do film is fine here. Um, there's usually enough, there's usually enough room. But it's when you get to the bigger things that uh, that I struggle. Right. Okay. So that's in. It's silent. So I'm going to time lapse putting this back together and then um, I'll have to put it back in place. Uh, do I? Yeah, I'll have to put it back in place um, and then I'll, sp I'll fire the radio up. Do a couple of test uh, transmissions now um, and see if the fan kit, the fan should kick in. I'll give it a wipe, a quick wipe over, a quick clean. Uh, anyway, uh, and hopefully that will be it. Uh, just to mention that I am a licensed amateur um, ham radio 
amateur radio. I am licensed, so uh, I am licensed to transmit uh, in the UK. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, so I'm going to time lapse putting this back together uh, as best I can. I'll do I'll get this and um, put back in place powered on uh, and we'll see where we go from there and I will report back shortly okay a slightly different angle than uh, what you you used to so I'm just holding the the camera because I don't have a, a tripod for it it's it's mounted a bit further up so yep yeah, the radios now on uh, and we're currently on seven i can't see it through the camera seven megahertz i think um which is for uh, 40 meters uh so it's on it's in place so i'm going to do some transmitting just to get the fan going and then i'll come back to you to tell you whether it works i won't film me transmitting though hello so it's been a it's been it has been a few days this time <clears throat> uh unfortunately the fan uh didn't didn't shut up um, it was quieter, I must admit, but it still wasn't uh, as quiet as I wanted it after the transmission. Um, so, whilst it's been a few days, I've <clears throat> disappeared out and bought some replacement fans. Um, now, they're both the same size, 92 millimeters. One is 1800 RPM, and the other one's a thousand, and it's called a, a silent. So, I'm not 100% sure which one to go for. I think I'm going to go for the 1800. Now I don't transmit for lengthy periods of time. So I just don't know whether I want to try and, you know, go for the silent one. And, you know, so you're just not going to hear the, the PSU at all. But I'm just worried that sort of a thousand isn't going to cool it enough. So I think I'm going to go for the 1800 because I can always swap it out again. Uh, these are Arctic fans. This one's four wire, uh, and I think coming off um, coming off this thing is two wire. By the looks of it, so from what I can see, um, I haven't got anything to prod it with. Uh, let's have a look. What have I got something, something, something. I'll have to do. I think down here, that's a temperature sensor and it looks like that the the positive is powered off this and the negative uh, it goes all the way through this so I'll have to cut it here and here and then solder and um, put some heat shrink on to replace this fan now on uh, I'll just move this back like I said um, this is a four wire one now I think if I call correctly that this one with this edge on it, it's got a coloured edge as the, the the negative side and the one next to it is a positive. Now we'll verify that 
um, by just sticking it on a power supply and just making sure it spins. And one particular thing that you have to take note of uh, when you're doing these replacements is the direction. So um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but what I'll try and do is zoom in uh, in, in post edit. Um, but here is the, the fan direction. So it's blowing through that way and then out um, of the exhaust port. So it's pushing pushing heat this way. So that's the plan. Uh, we're going to try and swap it with this. But before I do that, I will just test this fan just to make sure that um, just to make sure that it's those the right pins. So I think the others are going to be uh, like a speed sensor, probably. Is it pulse width modulation? I think it's called. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need them, and it's just these two. They're both um, 12 volts, so we should hopefully be good to go. So that's what we're doing. We're going to take this fan out. So I'll, I'll slip into a time lapse with some music and, uh, and off we go.
Okay, so that's that fan replaced um, and it's soldered in with some heat shrink around it. So I'm hoping now that pretty much solves the problem. Unfortunately, I can't plug it in um, where it is. I need to move it up onto the shelf where it sits. So I'm going to do that uh, and then I'll plug it in and see what happens. And I'll report back shortly. Um, I haven't got the radio in here. Hmm. No, I have got a radio in here, actually. So, yes, I'll put a radio on. And we'll uh, we'll see if we can get the fan to spin up, and I'll report back when it's done. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so uh, it looks as if the repair was successful. Uh, the fan seems nice and quiet. So yeah, that was great. So just a, a replacement fan, uh, and that's sorted. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, share, subscribe, do all of those things, and I will see you on the next one where we're looking at an Apple uh, Apple mouse. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of those on order. Uh, I've already started partially filming it, so we've got one that's in bits. So I've um, I've ordered some more so I can try and substitute some parts from it to uh, to try and diagnose it a bit further because it's a bit more difficult when uh, you don't have anything else to diagnose it with. So anyway, with that, uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care.